What up guys, it's your boy Larry Wise back here again with another video. I'm a little stuffy right now, apologies. Today is the day. Today is the day. Man, I can't believe I'm gonna do this, but to get right to it, I'm cutting my locks off. I'm cutting them, I'm cutting them, I'm chopping them off. Man, they've been here so long, it's crazy. It's crazy to really think about, but today is the day. I've been planning on this for at least probably like two years to be honest with you i've wanted to cut my dreads like for the past like two years but not like it's just i don't know it, the, the opportunity is just never really presented itself and it's never really just you know what i mean like you just get you get you get you know what i mean like you just you, you're like yeah and you're like no and you're like yeah and you're like no but now i'm just like finally like yeah as far as like some type of explanation for why i'm cutting them uh i turn 30 next month so you know i'm, I'm, I'm getting older and not to say you can't you know, you can't be older with dreads. Like, dreads aren't a mature look or anything like that. But dreads, like, low-key nowadays are like a young man's look, right? You know what I mean? And not to say I'm not young. I'm only 30 or about to be 30. You know what I mean? And like, I'm fucking 50 or 60 or some shit. But, you know, you get older and you get more mature and, and you just, you know, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta be a man and you gotta, like, make important decisions. You gotta let certain things go. You gotta just, you know, take chances, right? So I'm taking this chance, cutting off my dreads, the end of a... Just look at these hoes, man. They're gonna be gone, man. They're not even gonna be on my head no more, man. That's crazy to me. I can't even take my band down. My band said, no, don't leave me. Hey, these hoes long, man. They're long. And I hate to do it. I hate to do it, but at the same time, it's time. It's time. And don't get me wrong, I love them. I always get, I ain't gonna say always get compliments, but I've gotten plenty of compliments on my dreads and stuff like that. Man, 10 years, 10 years, 10 years just gone, right? It is what it is. I've been wanting to cut them for a minute, go back to the fro. That's that. That was my original lurdy look before, you know, before I started growing the dreads was the fro. And man, it, I'm gonna regret it, but at the same time, I'm gonna love it because, like, you talking about maybe fucking almost 10 pounds hanging off my head right now. Almost like 10 pounds. Like, I tried to weigh them the other day. It was like, it came up like seven or something. I was like, whew. So when I finally, you know, chop them all off, lay them down on some type of scale, I'm, I'm expecting like eight to nine pounds, maybe 10. Imagine that. I'm already, I weigh like 170, so I'll be like 150 some by the time I cut these out. I don't know, man. It's just, it's just that, it's just that time. It's just that time. It's been fun with them. Like I said, a lot of compliments. And it was just good to see how far my hair was going to go. I didn't, I didn't expect this when I started them. When I started them, I didn't even think my hair was going to grow that long. I was expecting them maybe to get to my shoulder, maybe a little bit further, but no, nah, they continued to grow. They just continued to grow and they just went down my back, down there touching my ass crack. It's crazy. It's crazy. But 10 years, man, 10 years. And they gone. <sighs> Anyway, since this is a YouTube video, I'm going to try to throw in a few pictures of the evolution of the dreads and stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, I'm going to try to get some clips while I can while I'm at the spot. And just so you guys know, the guy that is cutting my hair is also a YouTuber and he goes by The Game Changer. The Game Changer. I'll post a link down there in the in the uh, description and stuff like that so that way y'all can go check out his stuff. He's been, he's basically been cutting dudes dreads. People that's been 10, 11, 12, 14 years. You know what I'm saying? He's just been chopping them off and helping them restart. They, not necessarily, I don't know whether the people went back and grew out dreads again or they just kept whatever they kept you know what i mean i was finally able to book him i didn't realize he was out here like in the area where i live so i was like oh okay let me let me that, that's it right there maybe i can get a few views you know what i'm saying maybe a few subs few likes or something you know what i'm saying it's up to your boy it's up to your boy man i, I just uh you just don't understand bro it's just oh uh, they're gonna be gone no more on my head it's just uh. but anyway 10 years man 10 years started these hoes in 2011 damn Damn, I'm gonna miss him, but at the same time, it's Tom. I can go back to wearing hats again. I can, <laughs> I ain't gotta worry about my hoodie looking like I'm a hunchback at Notre Dame. <laughs> I won't be doing fucking where I'm like sitting up and then I pull, pulling on my hair, 
hair getting stuck and stuff, hair getting in the way of my face, like when I'm trying to do something, if I'm wearing it down. There's a lot of things, man. I know I know a lot of people going, a lot of people in the natural hair community going to be like, no, why are you cutting them? No, don't do that. No. It is what it is, man. You grow up and you grow out. You know what I mean? And like every nigga got dreads nowadays, man. It's just like, eh. I know mine's like, most niggas nowadays rock like short dreads, but every nigga got dreads and it just don't make me feel individualistic anymore. Not to say, you know, it wasn't a bunch of niggas rocking dreads beforehand, but it feel like since like 2015 or something, it's just been an influx of dreads. Especially now in the current climate, probably since 2018 up, it's just dreads everywhere. It is what it is. I'm sorry if I'm just kind of rambling. I just I just can't believe I'm gonna do it. I can't believe I'm gonna do it. I've been talking shit about this for like two years and now I'm finally finna just... I just wanted to make a quick vid and say, like, damn, I'm gonna miss these hoes. Maybe, like I said, throw up a few pictures, a little homage. But to be honest with y'all, I was thinking this too as I was getting closer to this day. This is a good way to symbolize the ending of my 20s. This is a good way. This is a good way to symbolize the end of my 20s. Because I've this is pretty much when I started these hoes and I was like 20. <sighs> can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. Damn. This is the end of the the saga of Dreaded Lurdy. <laughs> the end of the saga for Dreaded Lurdy. And uh, the beginning and the reboot, the reboot of Afro Lurd should be fun. It should be fun. And it's going to be interesting to see how my hair grows now that it's had dreads. And then it's just going to be a fro. It's not going to have to worry about being twisted. Because I got thick, heavy hair. So pff, just combing and picking is just going to be... It's gonna, it's gonna be a pain, but we'll get through it. We'll get through it and shit. Damn, man, I can't believe I'm gonna do it. I can't believe I'm gonna do it. Uh, if anybody knows of some good hair products, like you know what I'm saying, good natural hair products that help with black hair, obviously. So if anybody has like any suggestions on some really good stuff to help my hair like grow and kind of you know keep it, keep it black, keep it, keep it black, uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. I know a lot of females out there have great advice on that so please 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 leave something down there for me and yeah man i'm i'm gonna head over to i'm gonna head over to the spot and i'll catch y'all over there and after all that and wrap things up and all that damn i can't believe it man i can't believe it i can't believe it but anyway let's head to the shop all right see y'all there deuces all right guys we're sitting in the parking lot right now uh I'm just waiting for the time for my appointment to go in and uh yeah man it's it's about to happen, man. I uh, can't believe it. I really can't believe it. Um, yeah. I guess I'll see y'all after the cut or something. Or if I can get a few clips of him. I don't know. Or something like that. And shit like that. We'll see how it goes. But anyway. Yeah. It's official, bro. I look like Kid Cudi. Oh. Oh. I look like Kid Cudi. Oh my God. It's done. It's official. It's gone. It's not there anymore. No more dreads. <laughs> oh. Now it's time to get back to the crib. <sighs> I look like a whole new person, bro. That's crazy. Oh. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs>